Hey folks and welcome to Tully River Quail. Today I want to share with you some of the things that we use to uh, repurpose some plastic containers to make drinkers and feeders out of. I'm going to start with one that I just made for uh, our bobwhite flight pen. But uh, this is a single cup feeder. Uh, you notice that I use some spray paint. I like to keep the colors white and red or gray and red. Um, but I put a cup on this pretzel container and before I spray painted it, I drilled the hole. I figured out how far this would travel. Obviously, if you put this too low and you set it in the coop, then this is going to go up and it's going to run over because this is gravity shut off, right? So measure where you want it. Use a step drill. I usually do a pilot hole first where I want it. I'll mark it with a pen, put a pilot hole in with the regular drill, and then I'll use the step drill to get it just to where the tip fits because the tip on these is the threaded part of these is a little bit smaller at the very end and then it gets to be its full diameter. So anyway, what I did is I spray painted, I put a strip of regular tape on first on either side to as, acts as a, as a sight so I can see how much water is in there. And then I just peeled that off after I spray painted it and dried. And then I spray painted the roof, the lid, red. So it's kind of chick colors. Um, the other hole that you have to make is you have to have a vent so that when the water goes out air can go in if you don't have that you're going to create a vacuum so i always try to find where the threading ends and make sure there's no plastic or liner inside here to create too tight of a seal because you really don't need this sealed at all just enough to stay on all right so what i do is i drill the hole paint it let it dry, and then I get a hot glue gun, and I put it around the threading. I keep the little rubber gasket on the outside. That's the way you're supposed to do water containers. Yet the gasket, the rubber gasket goes on the outside, and you can press that from the inside with the threaded screw. And then, if you can see down there, let's see if I can get it. There you go. I just have that threaded on. Okay, so that's one. Now that's a drinker cup. All right. You can also do this using one of these grapefruit containers, right? And do it and make a nipple drinker. Now, what we do is before we move birds out of our brooder tower and into their regular coop if they're going to be on a nipple system we'll put this in so and we'll, we'll push the plunger down to fill the cups little baby lips up with water um, you can see how I have different color um, fingernail paint on these just to see if I can get them to be attracted to these a little bit differently you know if they were going to peck on this one a little bit more because it had the green I was going to put some green there I've also tried to put a little um, tree part or some fern or something like that on the outside so that it finds that's so it's interesting what I found works the best is a little laser pointer that I can just flash on this and then they try to chase the laser pointer and then they figure it out oh that puts water um, you know, obviously you can do on something like this where you just use some hot glue screw it into the hole now what you want to be sh make sure of is that you want this level to be where the birds can drink from it, right? But you also want it down as far as you can so you're not wasting all of this water. So usually what we'll do is we'll get some marbles or clean pebbles and we'll fill the base of this up just to take up space and it adds weight so the birds don't knock it over. Like on this one, we'll fill this up with some marbles to about here and that way the water level will be here. So again, since it's so tall, if a bird hits it, we don't want it knocked over and then not pay attention to it for a day or two and then whatever. 
Um, if you have it like this where you don't want to put too much weight in there, you can always put this on a little 4x4 four four block of wood or a piece of wood to lift it up so it gets into their sight level. Another one that you can do is a vertical drinker, right? And the problem with this one is, is that what we sometimes do is we'll suspend this inside a cage to train them for this kind of nipple drinker when they go to a different cage. And we'll tape a little loop on here and hang it like an IV drip. But you have to drill a little hole in the top so the water can vent out, but that makes it for a problem filling. So if you put a little hole up here, and you take the lid off to fill it up, make sure that you keep your finger over the hole. And then when you put the lid back on and turn it upside down, that vent is there and you can just hang it up in your coop. All right. Um, another thing that we do with a couple other pieces of plastic is here is a scoop, a feed scoop that we made out of an orange juice container. All right. We angled the cut, kind of hit it with some sandpaper so that it's not sharp and I actually heated this one with a little bit of a heat gun to make it smoother. But that makes a nice scoop out of buckets. Um, we use these creamers, creamer bottles just to fill up drinker trays or whatever, just to carry some water if we need to. These make excellent little bottles. This resealable lid's awesome. And when it's clicked on, it doesn't leak. So these are nice to have around. We have bunches of them here and there, plus some five gallon milk jugs, depending on what we're doing. And then here, if you go to some of these places that have some nurses or whatever, they like to munch. So you can get some, ask them to save their pretzel stuff. And this is a good water container where you can use this to manage a whole drinker bar system. Um, you can see kind of what we did here with our incubator water reservoir where I just put on a little stopcock and then that feeds the water to the incubator. When we need it, I'll just turn that on and add some more water when I need to. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me show you one thing about how we do this transition, which I already did a video on. Uh, you can see I have containers all over the place. Notice that I saved the wide mouth ones. Um, if you do have to put a fix, a screw or something inside, um, you need to have hand access. If you want to thread something on from the inside, you can't do that with a milk jug. Here's another little feeder that we made with a, a PVC tube that has some half moon holes cut out of the bottom. That goes down through the center, drilled a hole through the top, four inch hole, put that down, and then drilled some holes around the outside, painted it red just for coolness. And that's a nice little feeder that you can do. It's an auto feeder, it doesn't cost you anything, except for maybe some pipe if you have that laying around, and it doesn't cost you anything. Coffee containers are good containers to work out of too. All right, the reason you paint them is because the birds will peck at the water if they see it. So we spray paint them so that that opaques the glass. Um, here's these little lights. And you can see I have a little laser on this one. Now what I can do is I can shine this from the inside. And I'm training these bob white in here to learn to drink. So I shine this on the drinker bar where I want. Now this has been in here so they're not thirsty. But, and then that'll get them going and they'll start pecking at it and they'll realize that the water, there's one guy going at it now. So, anyway, just a couple little tricks we use here at the Tully River Quail. Um, hope everything's fine with you. Coming up with some tough times like it looks like in America, it'd be nice if we could all get together and start growing some more quail for folks who may not have access to food here in the near future should SHTF 
So anyway, one thing we're trying to do is uh, get more people to join the U.S. Quell Cooperative, uh, usquellcoop.com or usquellcom.com. Um, usquellcoop.com is the actual directory where you can sign up as a member. You can actually be an anonymous member and just be a U.S. Quell member ID instead of posting your actual name. Um, but that's a vetted service, a vetted way for folks to make sure you're selling good birds and make sure that the customers are vetted so we're not getting inundated with uh, spam and stuff like that so this one last little tied container that i have with a little venturi that i have to a cup down here so and you can see maybe over here we have one that's from a milk uh sorry a water drinker that we do to i had that down in the flight pen but I'm not using that right now. I need to get it cleaned up. Um, sometimes if you see there's some green down there, I'll put some Clorox in there, clean it out. Then I'll rinse it out with some vinegar water, and then I'll rinse it out again um, just to get it cleaned up. But All right, folks, Tully River Quail over and out. Stay free.